and variable present. Oh, my talk I'm again. No worry, you're not gonna understand that. <laughs> you're not gonna understand that. Why you won't stress me? So, okay, man, I tell you, when you divide the numerator and the denominator, will be up and down by the highest power, which I mean, highest power of the independent variable. What do you mean by independent variable? X, not independent variable for math normally. Y, not dependent variable. Uh -huh. So, now this one, what they talk about now, the highest power. So, anything with the high, like X, now, not only X to the power of 1, now be the highest power. This one, a constant, even if you replace them as X to the power of 0, X to the power of 1, big percent. So, you still say X to the power of 1, now be the highest power of the independent variable present, present for this particular question. So, now, we don't agree now, say now X to the power of 1, we'll be same thing as X. Be, so, we say, make we divide the numerator, divide this numerator 1 over this X. And also divide the denominator 1 over x plus x over x. So that means the meaning of dividing the numerator and the denominator by the highest power of the independent variable present. If you factorize this one, you know, if you simplify them, you know, you even if you apply a L'Hopital's rule of differentiation to start differentiating everything here, and you know, you still make any sense. I'm talking, you know, if you rationalize them. So the only way to do this one now to divide the numerator and the denominator by the highest power of the independent variable present. Suppose they only like this video now. If I they if I they if I they hold like this, suppose they like video, this thing will encourage me. This one and this one I will cancel out, will squash out. So this thing will remain now one over x divided by one over x plus and if this one divided this one now one. Some people will just as zero. <laughs> now it's the follow cost problem for your life every day. Where they make you know progress and succeed in life. So because of this math problem. So what I'm saying in essence is that anytime we can't do that, there is substitution here. Anyway, see x, put the infinity sign. So I'll get 1 over infinity divided by 1 over infinity plus 1. Thank you very much, my supporters. All of you like 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 my video, they share them. Now they motivate me. I'm not gonna like give you. If you never follow me, follow me, you not know, just watch come out. Just they encourage me. And tell us your younger ones to make them come follow me. They're going to learn right now. How they do, I get doing this. I don't like for you. I've, I've been around for a while. All right. So, one divided by, note this one. Anything, any number, even now 1000 divided by infinity, the answer is zero. Even now two divided by infinity, now zero. Anything divided infinity, now zero. So, the numerator will get zero over denominator, yeah, get zero plus one. Don't forget, say zero plus one, now one, not be zero. I can't get zero over zero plus one, now one. So, 0 divided by 1, that's 0. The answer now, 0. Make an end the video like this. I know why. You get why too. You get question, ask for comment section. You want to tell me thank you, talk up. I go like them, talk up. <laughs> you know, easy, talk up. Then share this video, share them. I know why I say share them, then save them because later, if you come back to that, <laughs> you, you need more, talk up for comment section. Peace out.